and immediately you see location coordinate right there and it's updating quite frequently and this is because if you go into the debug area of your simulator and you go to location you can set different locations for your application so you can set it to apple whether you're riding a city um, a bicycle in the city or a run and right now i have it freeway drive so every 25 meters this is updating the coordinate location if i set it to city bicycle ride it'll slow down because it takes a little bit longer when you're on the bike so you're noticing that it's not updating as frequently so every 25 meters it'll update and it just updated just now i'm not sure if you saw that now what we'll do is we want to take this cl location and I guess give it a more human readable format, something we can actually understand in terms of longitude and latitude. So to do that, I'm gonna stop my simulator here. And in this location manager, um, when did update locations, instead of just putting the coordinates, I'm gonna go ahead and put the longitude, oh no, latitude equals the locations, first so this is is an array so it's passing through an array so we're going to select the first object in that array and we're going to call the coordinate on it and we're going to get the latitude okay and then we're going to do the same thing for the long longitude i totally misspelled that i will correct that in a second longitude and you know what i will just longitude okay great so now with that saves through, it should give us human readable coordinates there. And I will rerun this and let's cross our fingers that this works. We'll navigate to our map view and boom, we've got human readable coordinates going on there for the longitude and the latitude. And it is updating on its own. We can speed this up again if we go to location or debug location and freeway drive and this should update much more frequently okay great all right so that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to show you how to get the current location and place that into your console and now that you have your current location you can go ahead and update the map with your current location via those coordinates and i might just do that in another video so stay tuned again if you've learned anything from these videos if you enjoy these videos please do hit the like button and uh, stay tuned by subscribing to the channel thanks so much for watching you have a great one